Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new uh, feature to Chrome. Um, at the moment, it's only in Chrome Canary that you can use um, as part of your Chrome extension. Now, essentially, this uses the, the side panel option up here and allows you to have a custom side panel that you can use either on you know, all sites like this um, or specific sites that you want to um, have a display on. Now, this can you know, interact with the rest of your extension but like I said, at the moment, it's only available in Chrome Canary. So let's take a look at the code um, and how you can actually put it together with the, uh, the latest in Chrome Canary. Before we go and take a look at that, I just want to mention again, my, uh, my course, my Browser Extension Academy is getting much closer to release now. So if you want to lock in the, uh, the pre-order price, um, be sure to uh, take a look at the link in, in this video. As, uh, as this releases, that, that uh, you know, early offer won't be there anymore. Um, but there's much more information you can find on the, the page we have here. Um, and there's a link in the description of this video. And if you've got any questions, just, just let me know. So let's take a look now at these side panels. So if we go over to Chrome Canary, you can see what this actually looks like. So I've enabled the uh, example extensions that have been provided by Chrome. So we can take a closer look. Now, basically what you get is as soon as you tap onto this uh, side panel icon over here, you can choose between the, you know, the default um, side panels that you have already and then your actual extensions. So very, very similar to the way that you can have the extension menu up here. You can see the side panels that have been selected. So if we take a look at the code of these example extensions, you can see how this is put together. But first, if I just you know browse across sites, you can see that this side panel doesn't reload. Um, as we uh, as we change the page so if i you know go somewhere else you know move back to the docs here you can see this is staying static so it's quite different to you know a pop-up if you had that as soon as you click into the page it closes form quite a useful uh place where you can add more information for your users so if we take a look at the code you can see how this is actually put together so like i said this is the example that's been provided by chrome and it's only available in canary at the moment so it's not quite ready to be used in like production extensions just yet. But you can see here, it's very, very similar to a pop-up. So we have to add this additional permission of side panel. And then in much the same way that you would add your, your, uh, your pop-up, you just provide the side panel option here in your manifest and then the path to the page. So you could imagine this, if you're using something like roll up and you want to bundle up your, your, um, your page, you could do it in a very, very similar way. Just make sure that you have this, this file generated, and then you can pass that in just here. And from here, everything operates similar to um, as it would in a pop-up, except for the fact that, you know, this isn't gonna close as soon as the page. Um, so you can see that just here. And what we can also look at is an example they've provided that will only run on specific pages. So this example here, you can see um, the other extension they've provided that only runs on specific pages. Now. The change they've made here is they've included the tabs permission. So depending on what your extension uses at the moment, you might need to include that. Or if you have access to um, you know, host permissions, then you can probably get around it that way. But if we take a look in the service worker, you can see that they're listening for changes um, to the, the current tab. So essentially as the tabs change, they're waiting to detect that. Um, and then what is basically happening is you can see that we set the options of the side panel here. So if the uh, side panel is on Google, they're allowing the side panel, otherwise they're disabling it. So essentially this means this side panel is only, uh, you know, gonna run on this one site. So you can see in here, it's only gonna display on Google. So as you can see, we have this new um, part of the, the Chrome APIs that allows us to set options for our side panel. So if we go back to the docs here, we can see a lot more information about this. So here's the set options where you can basically pass in the uh, panel options objects, which sets as either enabled, the path. So you could you know, optionally display a different page based on what's been passed in. So rather than enabling or disabling, you could have something that's specific to these particular pages. So say this is on, you have an extension for uh, Twitter, for example, when you detect that you're on Twitter, you can change the display of the, uh, the side panel and you could even you know, do it further based on the actual URL. So if you're on Twitter messages, for example, you could show something there 
if you're on the main feed, you can show something different. So this is a way that you can actually start to add, you know, more useful um, feedback for your users in here. So there's a lot more you can find in here as well, based on the, the panels, you know, so you, you can see here, for example, they're doing it straight when the extension's installed and then when the page is changed. Although this seems like it would be similar to actually setting it directly in the manifest. Um, but yeah, it's worth taking a look. I don't know yet how much this might change before uh, this moves from Chrome Canary into the main version of Chrome. Um, but I'll be sure to put any updates I find about this into the uh, the description. I'll add a comment below the video as well. But yeah, if you've got any questions on using the side panel, uh, feel free to drop a comment on this video and I'll do my best to find out any more about this as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.